Oh my god! Hey, it's up from So's Real Thoughts. Today we are going to do a trailer reaction for a trailer that kind of came out of nowhere, but I'm really, really excited to watch. And it is Jackie Chan's The Foreigner. Dun dun dun! Also, if you want me to do more trailer reactions, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and all that good stuff. Alrighty, so I don't think I've ever seen Jackie Chan in an American released film since maybe The Karate Kid. It's been a while. I think he's been more focused on doing his own thing, uh, making Asian films and whatnot. But we have missed him very dearly. And this, this trailer, oh my god. Uh, I'm so excited because apparently it's like The Taken by Jackie Chan. So let's just watch it. Oh shit, here we go. Everyone's already inside. <gasps> oh my oh god! god! Cho Chang! Oh shit. An explosion rocks the city today. 20,000 pounds for the names of the bombs. That's not how we do things here. Hello? Mr. Hennessy, he's here Holy again. Shit. That's five days in a row now. What does he want? His daughter was killed in the bombing. Mr. Hennessy, please find out the names of the bombers. I work for the government, not terrorists. You used to work for them. I don't know who the bombers are. I don't believe in you. It's him. You would tell me the names of the bombers. What is he gonna do? Kill me on Tuesday. He's trained. Me on Maybe special forces. I'm so emotional right now, I can't. He just wants you to know he can get to you. What is going on? He thinks I know who blew up his daughter. Do you? Oh my God. Somebody say a prayer for me. I love you, Jackie! I have the city looking for me. Oh my God. You get him, you get him! There's an old man running circles around a lot of us. He's ahead of us every step of the way. Open it up. That one part again. Yes, I do. Do you? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so emotional. <laughs> okay, um, before I start crying, let me just say. I really, really love this premise because for one, it reminds me so much of my dad because I know my dad will literally kill everybody on this planet if that ever happened to me. <sighs> Two, Jackie Chan is so amazing and he's always like the funny, charismatic dad and really we see him in this film that's so intense and you, you don't mess with Jackie Chan, really. You just don't mess with him. He will... <sighs> Oh my god, I'm just like so emotional. Okay, okay. Um, so The Foreigner is based on uh, a 1992 novel called The Chinaman, which I'm glad that they changed the name to The Foreigner, uh, which I'm not sure it's any better because I'm pretty sure they live in England and they're English people and yeah, anyways, whatever. Um, also, another thing I really, really loved is the fact that it was set in England or, you know, in London or whatever. I don't think we ever, I think most of the time we see like Asian American stories, but not so much Asian English stories. And uh, I think that's awesome. And like I said, was that, was that Cho Chan from Harry Potter? Let me just, uh, yes, Katie Lung. It is her. Wow, what has she been doing? Oh, I miss, I miss that girl. She is darn gorgeous. 
Oh, she was in Train Spotting too. I did not see that. Wow, she's only been like acting here and there, but she has been pretty consistent since Deathly Hollows. Um, anyways, the premise is a humble businessman with a buried past seeks justice when his daughter is killed in an act of terrorism. A cat and mouse conflict ensues with a government official whose past may hold clues to the killer's identities. <gasps> Martin Campbell is directing this. He did the Roy, uh, Casino Royale, James Bond movie. I really liked that one. I'm really excited to see this. And okay, like I said how I liked it that it was set in London and it's a story we haven't seen before. And it's such a James Bondy movie, especially with Pierce Brosnan in it. And could, I feel like in an alternate universe, this is my James Bond not even alternate universe, this is my James Bond. Jackie Chan is my James Bond because I don't think anybody else does their own stunts and he is such a magnificent actor, I just can't. October 13th, The Foreigner. We will have to wait till then. Wow, I hope he gets nominated. I hope he wins in a, like an Oscar. Finally, maybe, please. I mean, he's been in over like 300 films and he has yet to win something. I mean, they, the Oscars did give him an award last year for being such an iconic figure, but you know what? Give him a damn Oscar! Anyways, um, Jackie Chan, Pierce Boston, Charlie Murphy, Michael McLellhatton, whatever. Okay. I'm so excited! This looks so good! Even the poster looks amazing. I will link the poster in this post down below on my blog, just so you can see it. Cause it looks like, oh my God, it is so fresh. Okay, another side note why I love this so much is because terrorism is real everywhere. And I think that's it, such a realistic and just poignant storyline to go off of, especially because we all know a lot of the terrorism that happens, I feel could be government related to instill more fear in us, who knows? Who knows? But uh, regardless, I'm so, oh my God. Let me know what you guys thought, what your favorite Jackie Chan movie is. Honestly, I always still love Rush Hour only because I always want to be that Asian girl. Also, this is another Asian girl that's getting kidnapped, but not kidnapped this time. Actually, she dies. Okay, different story, different story. But yeah, I really like Rush Hour, Super Cop. Um, probably a couple others. I was going on a huge Jackie Chan binge, so I have to finish that so I can figure out which film of his I really, really love. He honestly risks his life for us every time he does a stunt, and it's incredible that he's still alive. And I, I'm such a huge fan. I can't wait to see this. Yes, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to check out my blog, www.sosrealthoughts.com to see more trailer reactions, and I will post up the poster for you. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye.